Well, when somebody's diagnosed with a brain tumor or something in their brain that doesn't have a diagnosis yet, there are a number of questions that immediately uh, come to mind for them as, a, as an individual and for their family. Uh, the first being, what does this mean? What is its implication? How is this going to affect my life? Oftentimes, people have been perfectly healthy when they find this out. Uh, they're working, they have a family, they have responsibilities, and there's a sudden disruption in all of that, and, and life basically comes to a halt. Naturally, in that particular circumstance, uh, you want an answer quick. You want to know what the path ahead looks like. Uh, and the first step, of course, is finding out what the diagnosis is. Uh, the, that, usually rem rem that, that usually involves a procedure, uh, a surgery, uh, to get tissue to make a diagnosis. Uh, the next question, of course, is where do I have that done? Oftentimes, it's hard to find uh, a surgeon. Uh, oftentimes, primary care doctors, uh, family physicians, neurologists don't necessarily have connections with neurosurgeons, with academic centers, with major medical centers and finding an access to these particular centers of excellence can be challenging. But I think that uh, the first goal is to find out what resources are available in your area, uh, look on the web, get information about uh, different uh, hospital programs. Uh, you certainly want to look for a group that has a multidisciplinary approach a group that has an interest in advancing the, the care and treatment of people with brain tumors. Certainly the more uh, types of patients, uh, the more patients that uh, are taken care of by a certain uh, center, uh, the better uh, qualified uh, they're going to be to take care of your problem.